Hello, my name is Eric from Invensys Learning, and I'd like to welcome you to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial session, we will learn about the variations between the waterfall and agile models. Let us quickly go over the agenda before we begin. As you can see on the screen, we'll start by learning about the history of software development. Following that, the methodologies will be defined. Then we'll go over the variations between the waterfall and agile models. Following that, we will examine the advantages and disadvantages of the waterfall model. Then we'll go over the advantages and disadvantages of the agile model. Post that, we will address a variety of other issues faced during the implementation. Finally, we will wrap up this session by addressing solutions to the problems that arise with the waterfall and agile models. Doesn't that sound interesting? So let's get this session started. What is software development? Software development is an iterative logical process that attempts to build computer coded or programmed software to solve a specific business or personal purpose, process, or objective. Software development is usually a well thought out process that includes several phases or stages that ultimately result in the production of usable software. Software development is mainly accomplished by computer programming, which includes processes such as initial analysis, data flow design, process flow design, flow charts, technical documentation, software testing, debugging, and other software architecture techniques, and is carried out by a software programmer. This process is known as the software development life cycle. Now we will understand the different life cycles. Types of software development life cycles. SDLC models, which stands for Software Development Life Cycle Models, are one of the most fundamental concepts in the software development process. SDLC, Software Development Life Cycle is a continuous phase that begins with the decision to initiate a project and ends with its complete removal from the exploitation. They are divided into several models. Waterfall Model Agile Model Lean Methodology Iterative Model Spiral Model Regardless of the type of life cycle chosen for your project, each has specific stages used in software development, i.e., requirements, coding, testing, maintenance. We've covered SDLC models so far. Now, let's look at the definitions of waterfall and agile. What is the waterfall model? Waterfall methodology is a sequential approach to SDLC that divides it into distinct phases such as requirements collection, review and design, coding and unit testing, device and user acceptance testing, and deployment. The next step will begin only after the previous phase has been completed. A deliverable or a document is required to be signed off on between stages. All steps are only passed through and completed once, so all specifications are collected as much as possible at the outset to provide details for the creation of plans, schedules, budgets, and resources. Since it is schedule-driven, any modifications made after the project has begun will invalidate the initial plan and necessitate a restart. The waterfall model was the first to be introduced as a process model. It is also known as a linear sequential life cycle model. It is really easy to grasp and apply. Each step must be completed in a waterfall model before the next phase can begin, and the phases do not overlap. The waterfall model depicts the software development process in a sequential, linear flow. This means that every step of the development process will begin only after the previous phase has been completed. Old-timers like me recall when the waterfall technique was the gold standard for software creation. Before any coding could begin, the software development process necessitated a massive amount of documentation. Someone, typically the business analyst, first created a business criteria document that included all of the information the company required in the application. But the current era of the internet requires speed and flexibility, which is lacking in the waterfall model, so let us discuss the Agile methodology. What is Agile methodology? An Agile methodology is a team-based approach that emphasizes the rapid implementation of a functional application with a customer-centric emphasis. It establishes a sprint, which is a time-boxed process with a two-week length. A list of deliverables is prioritized based on customer feedback at the start of each sprint. At the end of the sprint, the team and the customer review and discuss the job, making notes for potential sprints. As a technique based on general concepts, more concrete approaches based on procedures, such as Scrum and Kanban are referred to as forms of Agile methodology. An Agile software development process often identifies the users and documents a mission statement outlining the range of challenges, opportunities, and values to be addressed. The product owner captures this vision and collaborates with a multidisciplinary team or teams to implement it. 
The Agile methodology is a technique that encourages constant iteration of growth and testing during the project's software development life cycle. Unlike the waterfall model, all development and testing tasks are carried out concurrently in the Agile model. Now, let us start with the difference between waterfall and Agile. The Agile and waterfall models are two distinct approaches to the software development process. Despite their differences in approach, both methods can be useful at times, depending on the necessity and form of the project. In the waterfall model, the development of software proceeds in a logical sequence from beginning to end. The Agile method of software design advocates an incremental and iterative approach. The design process is not divided into individual models, this works on the whole project. The Agile process is divided into individual models on which designers work. The product is only visible to the consumer at the end of the project. The customer is given regular and early opportunities to review the product and make decisions and improvements to the project. In terms of stability waterfall models are more stable. Since they are so plan-driven. As opposed to the waterfall model, the Agile model is considered unstructured. In terms of planning, the waterfall model will plan, any project can be calculated and completed. But for Agile methodology, small tasks can be completed easily. Estimating construction time for large projects is challenging. Hence, the waterfall model is more suitable for large projects. In the waterfall model, only at the end is the whole product checked. If a requirement mistake is discovered or modifications must be made, then the project must be restarted from the beginning. In an Agile model, errors may be corrected in the middle of a project. In the waterfall model, the development process is divided into phases, each of which is much larger than an iteration. Whereas the Agile model has every process that concludes with a thorough overview of the next phase. The development process is iterative, and the project is completed in two to four week iterations. The Agile model needs very little planning. Documentation is a high priority, and it can also be used to train employees and update software for another team in the waterfall model. Documentation takes a back seat to software creation in the Agile model. Since different sections are not fully functional, the testing process is carried out only after the development phase in the waterfall model. Each iteration in the Agile model has its own testing process. It enables the implementation of regression testing whenever new functions or logic are announced. Following the lengthy implementation process, all features built using the waterfall model are delivered all at once. When an iteration ends in Agile testing, shippable features of the product are delivered to the consumer. New features are available for use immediately after shipment. It is beneficial when you have frequent contact with customers. In the waterfall model, the testing team will work separately from the development team, whereas the Agile model, both teams will work together. User approval is done at the end of the project in the waterfall model. In the Agile model, user acceptance is done at the end of each sprint. Here this shows the waterfall and Agile require user approval before going ahead to the production server. The developer is not involved in the requirements or planning stages. In a waterfall model, there are usually time delays between tests and coding. In the Agile model, it requires close collaboration with developers and joint analysis of specifications and planning. Since the process is often straightforward in the waterfall model, the project manager is important at any point of the SDLC. As a result of the Agile team's interchangeability, they perform more quickly. Project managers are often inadequate since the tasks are run by the whole team. Reduces risk in firm fixed price contracts by obtaining risk agreements early in the process in the waterfall model. With time and materials or non-fixed support, Agile methodology works incredibly well. In fixed price situations, it can increase stress. The waterfall model is suitable for projects with specific specifications, but unexpected changes cannot be allowed. Agile development is a method that expects requirements to alter and evolve. The waterfall model demonstrates a project mentality and focuses entirely on completing the project. Agile introduces a product mindset in which the software product meets the needs of its end users and adapts to their demands. Waterfall introduces a project mindset with a focus on efficient project execution, while Agile introduces a product mindset with a focus on customer satisfaction. Till now we have seen differences between Waterfall and Agile, now we will understand the benefits of Waterfall and Agile individually. The advantages of the Waterfall model are as follows. Since the project's deliverables were agreed upon at the outset, planning and design were easy. With a holistic approach to design, you will create a better product. Easier costing with a specified scope of work clear progress indicators, defined team roles for their particular tasks, dedicated personnel can operate in parallel. Limitations of Waterfall model. It is not suitable for large-scale projects. 
it is a less efficient approach if the criteria is not clear from the start. It is very difficult to return to previous phases and make improvements. After production is completed, the testing phase begins. As a result, there is a high likelihood that bugs will be discovered later in development when they will be costly to repair. Benefits of Agile Methodology The following are some of the well-known advantages of Agile Methodology. The software development life cycle can be completed more quickly. Sprints with a predictable schedule. The Agile model is customer-centric, which leads to higher customer loyalty. Accepting improvements with openness. Teams are empowered to handle tasks. Encourages effective contact. Ideal for projects with a variable budget. Limitations of the Agile model. It is an ineffective method for small construction projects. Significant decisions must be made in the meeting by an expert. As compared to other development methodologies, the cost of implementing an Agile method is slightly higher. If the project manager is unsure of what result he or she desires, the project can easily collapse. Issues with both Waterfall and Agile The comparison of basic Waterfall and Agile methodologies reveals some key issues with the Waterfall model, particularly given that it was the SDLC norm for decades. Waterfall model Due to a lack of coordination, team members' interpretations of specifications and documents differ greatly. The model's lack of adaptability makes it unsuitable for most consumer-focused software projects where specifications must meet unpredictable, diverse, and rapidly changing external change agents. Mistakes in progress are discouraged by the strict emphasis on meeting original specifications. As a consequence, imagination, innovation, and novelty are under assault. A lack of versatility hampers experiences that help recognize areas for growth or change for the better. At the same time, the Agile SDLC technique has not been proved to provide a solution completely. Despite the fact that the Agile model's concepts help to address issues that could emerge from the waterfall approach, many companies fail to understand the promised benefits. This problem arises as a result of the following factors. Organizations use Agile for planning but quickly switch to fast waterfall sprints for execution. During execution, agility is not truly planned and embedded. With this, there is no consistent framework design that includes realistic provisions for enhancing or modifying program features. As a consequence, iterating based on consumer input adds to the difficulty. The company is compelled to use the conventional waterfall model in order to resolve each problem based on feedback. The Agile mentality is not widely adopted in the enterprise. Individuals can fail to adapt after team meetings and unless a change management system is implemented. Evaluating the incorrect metrics for project progress creates an inaccurate image of achievement. Critical performance flaws are not found until the SDLC pipeline is too far along and following Agile guidelines isn't enough. The value-driven perspective necessitates organizations identifying the hindrances to achieving the Agile SDLC methodology's goals rapid delivery of high-quality software, reduced waste, and happy customers. Now we will discuss about the solution to waterfall and agile models. Raise of DevOps Several companies are now implementing the DevOps SDLC approach to resolve these issues, which takes the agile concepts of quick and iterative software creation but focuses on collaborative, continuous, and automation-driven processes in software development, testing, deployment, and distribution. Resources. For more resources, visit our website, Invensus Learning.